Bonjour mes amis and welcome to Gourmet Cooking. We're going to travel to Spain and do some interesting dishes that I learned when I was there just a couple of years ago. We're going to do a quail dish. We're going to take some beautiful little quail. We're going to first saute them with some onions and other seasonings and then we're going to braise them in a nice chicken stock. It, it's beautiful and it comes out so flavorful and it, it uses a little vinegar which is kind of a pickling type of uh, way of doing things and it gives it a wonderful little flavor that's uh, extremely interesting. Along with that we're going to do an orange and onion salad which is very common there with a nice dressing that I think you'll enjoy and we're going to do a Spanish tortilla. Now tortilla, uh, Spanish tortilla is a different thing than a Mexican tortilla. Mexican tortilla is a corn meal type of uh, bread uh, that's cooked and then fried or used in different ways. But in Spain, a tortilla is what we would call an omelet, except that it has ingredients in it such as potatoes and onions. And we're going to do a classic Spanish tortilla, which has potatoes and onions. So I think you'll enjoy those three dishes tonight. For those of you that are interested, the recipes for this show are on page 80 and 81 of volume three of Gourmet Cooking. So let's put the recipes aside and begin our dishes. Uh, they take a little while, but I think we can fit it into our time frame. I already have heating uh, about a half cup of olive oil, and that's going to start our <coughs> quail dish. So let's start with that, and we have some aromatic vegetables to go in that. And first of all, we're going to need some onion, and I have most of that prepared, but I always like to do a little bit of each ingredient on camera for those that might want to see the various techniques that we employ in our cooking. And of course, we're cutting the onion in our traditional manner, which is very French manner of cutting an onion, cutting it in two directions and then chopping it. It goes very quickly. So we have here one medium onion, and we're going to need a little celery. And I have already taken the the strings off. I had a vegetable peeler and took most of the strings off. I see I left one or two on there, but it just makes a nicer vegetable. We want to cut that into small pieces, so by cutting that, leaving it attached at one end, it makes it easier to handle. We then chop the little piece of celery and add to that which I already have prepared. So we can put this with the celery we have. Now, let's take that and we should have some garlic. Here we are. We have some garlic and we're just simply going to crush that first and then chop. It just makes it easier. The garlic stays in one place and it goes very fast. So we can take the garlic, add that to our onions and take the onions now right to our olive oil, which is hot. And we want to saute these for about five minutes. We turn the heat down to medium, and we'll add our celery at the same time. Now that has to cook for about five minutes. We don't want to brown them, but we simply want to wilt them or have them sort of um, semi-cooked at this point. So we'll let our onion and celery and garlic sizzle away while we go to our little quail. Let's stop a moment though. We're going to have another dish and it's the tortilla and that requires some nice potatoes and we have some all diced here and they have to saute along with some onions in some oil and I have some oil here. I'm going to add that to a pot to a skillet here in order to let it get warm. I'm going to reserve about a tablespoon of that for cooking the omelet a little further down the line. So I'm going to get that hot while we're preparing our dish here. Now I have some nice little quail and I have two push, two for each one. You can see these are small birds. They're very nice, but we need to prepare them for the cooking. The first thing we want to do is take the two wings and turn them under so that they will form a nice little package there. The other problem we have is these legs sticking out. Well, by taking a knife and cutting through the breast right there at the 
end of that bone, we make a little slit. We simply take these two legs and bend them back, finding that slice, that uh, cut I made. There it is. It's hard to see, but it's there. We tuck that leg in there. We do the same on the other side. Did I cut a hole there? I don't remember. We'll cut another. And then bend that leg back. The skin is a little bit and put that into it. Now, what that does for us, it makes a nice little package for the sautéing. Let's do the other one we have here, and we will have 16 nice little quail ready to go. Put this one, cut a little thing there. Now, if that joint is there, it can get in the way, so we simply cut off the end of that joint uh, that uh, bone so that we have a smaller piece of bone to fit into the little hole. I'm awkward on this side of the bird it looks like. There we go. Stuffing it in, getting it down into the cavity. We have made two nice little packages as you can see here and we have 16 all together. Now that our onions and garlic and celery have sautéed, Let's take our other, our nice little birds, and we want to first saute them on one side. So we're going to place them sideways on this, in this mixture. So taking the birds, we'll put them around the skillet here and cook those for five minutes. I think we can fit them all in the pot. And after the five minutes, we'll turn them and cook them on the other side for five minutes. Oh, they fit just nicely. So we'll let those cook or saute, putting this dish out of the way since we no longer need it, and wiping both our hands and the board. We've got our nice quail dish on its way. We now want to look at a couple of things. We're going to have the potatoes in a moment. Although, let's see, we might be ready. We have a few onions here. Not quite. That oil needs to come up to heat a little more. So I'm going to turn that up on high, and we'll have that ready to go in a moment. In the meantime, let's go to our salad, and that's going to require some oranges, and I've already taken most of them, and peel them. So we want now to take the remaining orange I have and simply remove the peel, and that can be done very simply by running the knife around, angling it so that you get rid of the pith and the skin, leaving the nice orange flesh. We missed a little bit of the pith there. Let's cut that off. And then we want to cut these oranges into slices, and I find that a serrated knife is the most useful tool for that purpose. Now when we come to a slice with seeds, and there we are, we simply stop and take the seed out. Luckily these oranges were not too full of seeds. All right, we have one more here. Now once we've got all our orange slices, we want to arrange those on a bed of lettuce, which we already have. We simply arrange those around the lettuce. It's a very colorful dish, as you can see. So we have now, I think this was four large oranges, and we simply place the orange slices over the lettuce in as fancy a position, uh, d decorative way that, we, that you care to. You might overlap them and make concentric circles, or just do a helter-skelter as I'm doing here. Then the other ingredients we need for this will be some onion rings. We have some of those already cut. We'll simply cut just one more for the sake of seeing it done. Take that outer ring, which is fairly tough, and put that aside and we take the onion rings and scatter those over the orange.
So we have now a white color on top of that pretty orange, and I think that's enough onion. The other ingredient we need is some bell pepper. And let's see, let's stop a moment, go to our little birds, taking our oil back here off, it's almost getting too hot. Let's turn the birds on the other side, turn them so that they cook on two sides. Now this dish, after we assemble all this, will be covered and cooked for 40 minutes. So obviously I have already prepared one serving of this and it's all ready to go except that it needs to be reheated and of course our sauce needs to be reduced. So let's turn these birds. It takes a minute or so with 16 of them. But they're browned on one side. We'll brown them on the other. They have a wonderful flavor, these little birds. They're game birds and they have a nice gamey taste. But it's very interesting and very flavorful. All right, back to our salad. Let's cut some pepper. We want some very thin slices of bell pepper. You can cut them in any direction you want. I chose this one simply because it gave us a nice shape. So we put the bell pepper on top of the salad. So at this point, our salad is assembled. It needs a dressing, but we're gonna do that later. We're gonna put this in the refrigerator to chill and be nice and crisp and crunchy for us. So we slide that into our nice cold refrigerator and come back to it after we've made our salad. Now let's see if I can get these potatoes going. They're gonna take a few minutes and we may run out of time on that. All right, we have our diced potatoes. We want to saute those in the hot olive oil. We turn those. being sure they're all covered with the oil, and we'll turn. Now we don't want these to be brown. A Little bit of that onion I put in there at first. We just want these to be nice and soft and tender. It won't take long. A Couple of pieces of black there represent the, uh, the onion I put in before. And we want to add one small chopped onion. This is an optional. The potatoes are an essential to make a Spanish tortilla. But the onions are optional, but are very typical. You can also add other ingredients instead of the onions, chickpeas and any number of vegetables and so forth. So we'll get our tortilla going. Now we have our birds that have cooked about five minutes on both sides. So we want to induce, uh, introduce some other flavorings. And that's gonna be several things. We're gonna use six whole peppercorns. We want to place those into the dish. We have about a half teaspoon of leaf thyme. We have some bay leaf. We have three nice bay leaf. We're gonna work that down in between the chicken, or the chicken, the little quail birds. And while we're here, let's turn those, some of them anyway, on their backs so that the breasts are all facing up. And it'll make a nicer presentation. Also, we can get some of these seasonings that we're adding now mixed in with the rest of the ingredients. So that was olive oil and onions and celery and garlic. And then we simply brown these quail and then turning them over we're going to add about a half cup of vinegar now I'm standing back because when you add that it's going to steam up and it will choke you really if you're, you're too close so let's add our vinegar you can see the steam coming up even over here the flavor the fragrance is just wonderful and then we'll add uh, two cups of a nice rich chicken stock. Now that will braise these birds for 40 minutes. Let's stop a minute and turn our onions and potatoes. We don't want them to burn. Uh, they're browning a little bit on the bottom, but we need the ones on top to cook. 
All right, those potatoes will be ready in a moment. In the meantime, we now want to bring this back to the boil and then lower the heat to a simmer and let it cook. The water is, the, the liquid rather, the stock and the vinegar are rumbling and therefore we're getting a nice simmering or a, a um, well, simmering is what we want. All right, that's just beginning to occur. So I know now I can put the cover on and we're gonna move this to the back burner and let that simmer for the 40 minutes. In the meantime, we have our potatoes, which are just about cooked. They need a minute or so. So let's go now to the salad, since we have the time, and finish our salad, and then we'll come back to our, to our tortilla and to our little quail. Now, we need to put a dressing together for that salad, so let's do that now. And that's going to involve, first of all, a little bit of tarragon vinegar and about a cup and a half, about a cup of white wine. So there are our acids for our salad. We add to that a little bit of chopped onion some salt and pepper, a little pepper. That one doesn't want to pour, let's try this one. That's better. And a little salt. And we want then to add to that some olive oil. Let's stop a minute now and toss our potatoes. They are browning a little bit, but I want to be sure that they're cooked. We don't want to brown them too much, but it's all right. This will just be fine. So let's now add our olive oil gradually to our wine and the vinegar. And we have a nice, nice vinaigrette, a wine vinaigrette. Let's move these aside. We're going to use our eggs in a moment. We're going to need that oil too. All right, we have the olive oil and the vinegar blended together. Let's retrieve our salad from the refrigerator. What a pretty sight. That's one other ingredient that we should have added earlier but it's not too late to add it now. And that is some chopped pimento. So we can take our pimento now and garnish this platter for another color dimension as well as a wonderful flavor enhancement to this salad. Oranges have never had it so good. But these are typically Spanish ingredients that go into making up a salad. The Spanish are known for their magnificent oranges, especially their blood oranges, which we unfortunately do not find in our locale. You may have them in your area, but we're not. I'm gonna take that off heat until I can come back to it now, and we will proceed with our tortilla. And let's pour our dressing over the orange and the other vegetables. And I have a little bit left. We'll just put that aside and use that as a side dish if we need it. In the meantime, let's take our potatoes. We want to remove those from the oil. That's potatoes and the onions. They've browned a little bit. It's not ideal, but it won't hurt the flavor. In fact, it might, might very well enhance the flavor. But our potatoes now have been sauteed with the onions and they have been sauteed in the olive oil. So let's, I'm trying to not pour all that oil into this dish. Let's see if I can do it this way. And then we want to pour out all but one tablespoon of the olive oil, putting that back onto 
the heat. We then want to add our eggs, and we have six eggs. We're going to put those into our oil and start our omelet. We can also add a little pepper and a little bit of salt. We need now to, here's my whisk that I did not use before. That oil is very hot. Let's turn the heat down. We got our eggs ready. Almost, any rate. Get those blended together. And we start now. Let's see if I can't get a little bit of this excess out of here that we sh left in there. Well, we have our nice hot olive oil. We simply want to place our egg. We return the onions and the potatoes, mixing them in with the egg. Now, this is going to be like a side dish to our meal, but you will find this often served in Spain as one of what they call the tapas. They are little hors d'oeuvres that they eat frequently, especially in bars and with cocktails. This is one of the many that they have. So we want now to pick these items up and get those out of the way, along with these eggshells. We don't need those anymore. And cleaning up our board. We want to come back to our tortilla and kind of get it to a point where it's set, working around the edges. We want now to take our tortilla and let's see if I can quickly turn it over and slide it back into the into the pan, putting it back on heat. We'll let that cook on the other side, shaping it with our spatula, washing this dish off since we're going to use that for our tortilla. We'll serve it onto this dish. In the meantime, cleaning up this board again, let's go to our quail, which have been sitting on the side here, the ones I cooked earlier. We want now to take those and here we are, our little. We want to take our birds and place them onto a nice serving dish. And we want then to strain this sauce. It's not absolutely necessary, it's just the way I prefer to do it. But we have these wonderful, the fragrance is absolutely wonderful. The vinegar and the aromatic vegetables. The stock is really something else. One more, if I can hold this. There we go. Almost a little too heavy. So now I want to take some of the whoop, sauce. You could reduce that a little more if we like, and pour the sauce over and around our wonderful little birds. Putting this back over here, we'll place our quail up front, taking our tortilla, our potatoes, and see if this will, it's loose, all right. We'll try it one more time, turning it over, and we'll have our nice potato cake, or our Spanish tortilla. So there we are, our meal tonight, our Spanish meal. We're going to bring this into the kitchen 
and serve it and enjoy it. And I hope you'll join me there. In the meantime, here are the recipes. Well, now for our Spanish meal, a wonderful quail, first sauteed with onions and, and celery and other flavorings, and then braised in a nice stock. Makes a wonderful sauce to go with it. And the tender little birds, along with our tortilla, our Spanish tortilla, the omelet with the potatoes and onions, and of course our salad. Let's see if I can't serve a little bit of this We'll take a little bit of the salad, uh, a little orange, and some of the other ingredients that are there. Along with that, we're going to try a little bit of the tortilla. Cut me a little wedge or so, and put that on my plate. And we're going to take two nice quail, two per person, and that makes a wonderful serving. So we have our nice Spanish meal, our two little quail, our wonderful salad, and the Spanish tortilla. A little bread to go along with the lovely sauce that was generated by that, and some white wine to complete this meal. This is fun. The food in Spain is absolutely marvelous, and I would hope that you ever have a chance to go, it, go to Spain. It's just a beautiful country, and the food of the people are wonderful. A little wine now to round out our meal and bring out all these flavors. We're gonna enjoy this. I hope you will too. Abiento. La douceur du temps nous fait des avances. Partez, mes enfants, vous avez 20 ans.